not just the truck. If you optimize one, you actually might disrupt the whole combination. With more than 80 years of experience producing high quality trucks, Peterbilt ranked third in sales in the United States with about 42,000 trucks sold each year. Elon Musk, on the other hand, claims that 50,000 Tesla semis will be produced in 2024, making Tesla the second largest semi brand in the United States. So in this matchup, how will the Tesla Semi take the crown over Peterbilt? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome friends back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, get ready as we're going to dive into a double feature today. That's right, that's a two for one video. Let's get in on today's content. I present to you the Peterbilt 579. Known as one of the most technologically advanced machines manufactured at Peterbilt, it can be said that it is a formidable competitor to the Tesla Semi. So how does the price of the 579 compare to the Semi? Initially, when Tesla planned to offer the Semi with a quad motor powertrain, it expected the base price to be $150,000 for the 300 mile version and 180,000 for the 500 mile version. In the delivery event, Tesla did not update the price. However, they have increased the prices of its passenger vehicles sharply, and the Semi will be no exception. It's been estimated that the Semi top model would cost around 200,000 US dollars or more. However, the impact of the Inflation Reduction Act is a new variable here adding $40,000 in incentives for clean energy commercial vehicles. So, subtracting the tax credit, it would cost you around $160,000 to own a semi. For comparison, a brand new Peterbilt 579 will cost you a minimum of $160,000, but depending on customization options, it can go for a premium of over $200,000. Moreover, a used 579 can be as cheap as $100,000 with some luck but it's more likely to cost somewhere in the neighborhood of 150,000. We can see that both trucks are the same price, but which truck will prevail in other aspects? Drivers need a comfortable interior because they spend most of their time driving. So what is the interior difference between the Tesla Semi and the Peterbilt 579? And we put the center, it put the seat in the center for max visibility, low full, you can stand up in the cabin. The driver's seat in a Tesla Semi is centrally positioned, something also seen in Volta trucks. Tesla says this allows for better overall visibility out of the windshield. Behind the driver's seat, there are two additional foldable seats. There are, of course, more touch screens than conventional instrumentation, which are in the form of two 15-inch units, one on each side. These provide camera views to supplement physical mirrors, so reversing and low speed maneuvers should be safer. But what's so special about the interior of the 579? Given this much room to work with, Peterbilt's interior designers didn't disappoint either. The 579 features a modern and ergonomic interior designed for the perfect blend of comfort and easy to reach controls for the driver. The instrument panel has convenient gauges that are visible through the steering wheel so the driver has all the information needed while driving. The 579 standard seats provide good back support with a wide cushion and optimal foam density. There's also the option to upgrade to the LX seat as they provide two chamber lumbar support, adjustable side bolsters, suspension dampening, heating ventilation option. The Peterbilt 579 leads the industry with a 15 inch digital display instead of an eight inch one. Now for those long trips out on the open road, will the 579 and Semi have a sleeper option? And if they do, how do those compare? In a Tesla Semi, there is a significant amount of room behind the cockpit to house a sleeping area. Videos and pictures have failed to show the sleeper cab portion of the Tesla Semi. Musk revealed that its designers are considering some type of sleeper model in 2023, which would extend the length of the cabin, but not the overall truck length. In that case, the Semi may be great for local intrastate delivery work. In contrast, the 579 seems to be more focused on this option. The interior of the Peterbilt 579 sleeper offers drivers 8 feet of headroom, 70 cubic feet of storage, 
and the largest mattresses in the industry. The sleeper cabin has been refined with more storage space, but there's also room for small appliances, optional bunk beds with a stowable ladder, and plenty of light, both from the roof skylights and from ample adjustable LED lamps located around the interior. There are easily accessible power ports with 12 volt, 110 volt, and USB powered parts located in the panel right behind the driver's seat. When you have an upper bunk, it is duplicated so that the driver has access to the same power without having to run extension cords and the like. There's also a slide out table on the driver's side for working or eating. And Peterbilt's noise abatement engineering didn't end with tweaking the truck's engine mounts. Additional sound insulation and other new sonic reduction technology make the Model 579 notably more quiet, both sitting still and out on the highway. Now, how are the exteriors of the two trucks designed to match the interiors? The Tesla Semi is designed like a bullet. This truck has a unique cab construction and arguably the cleanest design we've ever seen on a truck. It appears as if it belongs to the future. There is a massive wraparound glass area up front that slopes into the frunk. The glass area is so large that the panels reach all the way to the doors. For comparison, the 579's distinctive bold exterior features a sculpted roofline optimized to achieve smooth airflow around the vehicle. The most striking feature is the new hood, which is crafted from a lightweight resin material called metan. The 579 also features a brand new standard sun visor with integrated marker lights as well as extenders and closeouts to deliver a 2% improvement in aerodynamic efficiency. The two vehicles have distinct design features to suit the aerodynamic capabilities of each machine. The ability to transport goods and tonnage is going to be crucial for its success. So which truck has the larger capacity? Um, it's just that you're you're moving 82,000 pounds. The Semi is an all-electric Class 8 truck with a capacity of up to 82,000 pounds, according to Tesla. The Peterbilt 579, on the other hand, is suitable for line haul, local haul, and pickup and delivery operations because of its payload of 80,000 pounds. However, the payload of the Tesla Semi is more than the Peterbilt 579 by 2,000 pounds, which makes the Semi a beast on the road. But does this mean that the electric motor of the semi is more powerful than that of the 579? We've maxed out the torque on the efficiency unit so it's completely smooth. There's no turbo lag or jerking it. The Tesla semi is equipped with a new tri-motor system which consists of three independent electric motors. The motors are, of course, used to power the two rear axles as the front axle is not powered. An interesting thing is that the electric motors have carbon sleeved rotors, just like in the Tesla Model S and X Plaid introduced in 2021. The drive unit in a semi has an output of 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound feet of torque, which makes it a very powerful motor. The 579 is equipped with an engine for maximum power and weight benefits, resulting in optimal fuel efficiency. Packar MX13, Packar MX11, Cummins ISX15 and Cummins ISX12G. The Packard MX13 engine offers a variety of output options. The Packard MX13 engine offers a variety of output options, ranging all the way to a 500 horsepower and 1850 pound feet of torque rating. The Packard MX11 engine can achieve an output of 430 horsepower and 1,550 pound-feet of torque. It can be said that the Semi has twice the power of the 579 by 590 horsepower. But something of concern to trucking industry experts is how the real-world range of the vehicle will be affected by a full payload and a truck that likely weighs significantly more than a traditional Semi due to the batteries. Thanks to its 1,000 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is roughly 10 times larger than the packs fitted to long-range electric cars, the Semi has claimed a range of 500 miles. Right now, the fastest DC chargers available to the public supply 350 kilowatts. To service the Semi, Musk said Tesla has developed a megawatt-class V4 DC supercharger. The Tesla Semi will be able to recharge 70% of the battery in 30 minutes. The 500 mile range on a single charge is a big breakthrough. The Peterbilt 579 can surpass the acceleration of the Tesla Semi. The Semi drives like a normal truck, although it's bigger and heavier. Without the payload, the Tesla Semi could accelerate like a mid-range sports car with a 0 to 60 of just around 5 seconds. With a full load, it's supposed to be capable of the same feat in 20 seconds. 
Sure, that sounds slow compared to the average car these days, but it's three times faster than the Peterbilt 579, which will take more than 60 seconds for it to reach that speed. However, the company said that acceleration to highway speeds in the Model 579 is surprisingly quick, smooth, and quiet, bolstering Packer's argument that the MX-13 is more than sufficient for most long-haul applications, both in terms of low-end torque and reserve power at highway cruising speeds. There's no doubt that these trucks will make truckers' lives everywhere considerably easier and less stressful. Drivers new to the profession may learn quicker and with less effort than in a conventional diesel-powered semis. Which truck is safer? We sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Another area where the Tesla semi will break new ground is safety. While Tesla didn't mention anything about autopilot in the Tesla Semi, it looks like the hardware is there to make it happen because Tesla integrated many cameras around the vehicle. Moreover, the range of safety features includes automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, and automatic lane keeping assist. If the Tesla Semi senses no driver input, it stays in the lane, coming to a slow and gradual halt and automatically dials an emergency number. Along with the safety features that Autopilot can enable, Tesla also announced that the Semi will be able to achieve a sort of convoy mode where you can get several Semi trucks to follow each other closely and autonomously on the highway. Aside from that, the Semi also has automatic tire inflation system and thermonuclear explosion-proof glass, which the 579 does not have. This is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion-proof glass the 579. It's equipped with the latest advanced driver assistance systems features that are designed to improve both safety and uptime. Lane keeping assist is an advanced feature that uses an electric motor mounted on the steering column that helps the driver stay in between the lines. This feature helps to reduce driver fatigue. It also uses an enhanced collision mitigation system if triggered by a slower moving vehicle or stationary object ahead. The system automatically engages the brakes, reducing vehicle speed by up to 50 miles per hour and minimizing the likelihood of a loss of control, situation, or a collision. Once the object or vehicle is no longer in the road, on the road, the system will resume at its pre-event set speed. The 579 can detect when the truck is unintentionally drifting out of the travel lane and alert the driver to take action with a lane departure warning. Highway departure braking functions will sound an audible alert for the driver and will apply foundation brakes to reduce vehicle speeds if the system determines the vehicle unintentionally leaves the roadway. It's also very interesting that the 579 has a comfortable sleep option, so what additional features will it have? Smart Air is an impressive advancement that can keep a sleeper cool and comfortable for up to 10 hours at a stretch without idling. It's powered by four heavy-duty AGM batteries. The Smart Air No Idle Climate Control System keeps drivers cool, fuel costs low, and the environment happy. The Smart Air system is factory installed and available on the sleeper version of the Peterbilt 579. It also works with existing HVAC systems by using existing ducting. The 579 can be considered a serious competitor to the Tesla Semi. Though it is three years late, it appears that the Semi may be worth the wait if it can deliver on all of its promises in an energy and cost-efficient manner. One diesel truck, it's economic suicide for rail. This beats rail. Charging with electricity is approximately two and a half times cheaper per mile than refueling with diesel. Operators can see estimated fuel savings of up to 200,000 within their first three years of ownership, according to Tesla. How do you feel about the confrontation between the Semi and the 579? Which vehicle do you think is superior? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. Now, if you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you can stay up to date on new and exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.